Operational Mechanism of Large Language Models What are LLMs? A Large Language Model LLM, is a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence AI, technology that harnesses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text in response to user requests. LLMs are trained on substantial datasets and can be implemented for various tasks, including natural language processing, chatbots, virtual assistant, document summarization, content generation, and machine translation. Operational Mechanism of LLM The first diagram illustrates the life cycle of a language model, highlighting three major phases. Core Architecture – Transformers The foundation of modern language models like ChatGPT is the transformer architecture. Transformers rely on mechanisms such as self-tension to understand relationships between words in a sentence and across sentences. They allow for efficient parallelization, making them scalable for large datasets. Key points are this phase involves constructing the deep learning framework that powers the model. Number 2 is Training Phase The model is trained on large, diverse datasets containing text from books, articles, websites, etc. The goal is to learn patterns in language, including grammar, semantics, and contextual understanding. During training, the model predicts the next word or token in a sequence based on the context provided. Key points training leverages vast amounts of data and computational power to make the model capable of generating coherent and contextually appropriate text. Tokenization, inference, and fine-tuning. Tokenization. Text input is broken down into smaller units, called tokens, example words, subwords, or characters, which the model can process. Embeddings. Tokens are converted into numerical representations, embeddings, to be input into the model. Inferences After training, the model uses its learned knowledge to generate responses, make predictions, or complete tasks. Fine-tuning The model is fine-tuned on specific datasets to optimize it for particular use cases, like customer support or medical advice. Key points this phase focuses on applying the model to real-world scenarios and improving its utility. The arrows indicate the flow of development, from creating the architecture to training the model and, finally, deploying it with practical techniques. The second diagram represents a basic neural network architecture used for processing word vectors. Here's an explanation of its components. Components of the model Input Vector, Word Vector This layer represents the input to the model. The input word is transformed into a numerical representation, Word Vector, often derived from techniques like Word to VEC, GLOV, or embeddings from transformer models. In the diagram, the input vector has 12,288 values, which corresponds to the size of the embedding space or input dimension. Hidden Layer this layer contains 49,152 neurons and is responsible for capturing intermediate patterns in the data. Each neuron in the hidden layer connects to all input neurons, forming a dense layer. The connections have associated weights that are learned during training to identify patterns in the word vector data. Third is output layer. The output layer has 12,288 neurons, matching the dimension of the word vector. This layer maps the hidden layer's learned features to an output vector, which could represent probabilities, transformed embeddings, or other predictions depending on the task. Output Vector The final output is another word vector of 12,288 values, which could be used for downstream tasks such as Predicting the next word Classifying text Computing word similarity or semantic relationships How it works Input transformation A word or token is encoded as a vector and fed into the input layer. Hidden layer processing The word vector is processed through the hidden layer using an activation function, example ReLU or Sigmoid, to capture nonlinear patterns and relationships. 
The weights are adjusted during training to minimize the loss for the task. Output generation The output layer transforms the hidden layer's representation into the desired output format, such as a prediction or a processed vector. This type of architecture is seen in Language modeling Word embedding refinement Neural machine translation Classification tasks Operational mechanism of LLM-powered application The system leverages machine learning to extract answers by converting documents into numerical vectors, which are then stored in a vector database for quick access. When a user poses a question, the system pairs it with relevant documents through a prompt template and forwards it to a language learning model, LLM. The LLM processes the input and generates a response, which is then presented to the user. This AI-driven system efficiently handles language processing and information retrieval. Core Components of LLM Tokenization – Breaking down text into smaller units, tokens Each token is associated with a unique integer ID. Embedding layer turn tokens into a vector of numbers. Embeddings are dense vectors that encode the semantic meaning or context of a token in a continuous vector space. Transformer Architecture Attention Mechanism, a key component that allows the model to effectively capture long-range dependencies and contextual information. Positional Encoding adds token sequence information. This is done by using the sine and cosine functions of different frequencies. Multi-head attention, multiple self-attention mechanisms where after input embedding and positional encoding, three vectors are created from each input embeddings, query, key, and value. Feed-forward layers, feed-forward neural network and normalization is again applied to further filter out irrelevant words and give a vector of richer presentation. A transformer in large language models, LLMs, refers to a deep learning architecture introduced in the paper, Attention is All You Need, by Vaswani et al., 2017. It is the foundation of modern LLMs like GPT, BERT, and LAMA. Key Concepts of Transformer in LLMs Self-attention mechanism Each word, or token, in a sentence attends to all other words in the sentence. It helps the model capture contextual relationships between words. Positional encoding Since transformers don't process data sequentially like RNNs, they use positional encodings to retain word order. Multi-head attention Instead of using a single attention mechanism, multiple attention heads capture different aspects of the relationships between words. Feed-forward layers after attention mechanisms, information is passed through fully connected MLP layers for further processing. Layer normalization and residual connections helps in stabilizing training and preventing the vanishing gradient problem. Scalability with parallelization. Unlike RNNs, transformers can process tokens in parallel, making them highly efficient on GPUs. Modern LLMs like GPT-4, BERT, T5 and LAMA are based on the transformer architecture. There are two main types. Encoder-only models, example BERT, rubber the, good for understanding tasks, classification, Q&A. Decoder-only models, example GPT-3, GPT-4, LAMA, good for text generation. Encoder-decoder models, example T5 BART, used in translation, summarization. This is a block diagram of encoder-decoder structure of transformer. Self-attention helps each token attend to all other tokens. Feed-forward layer processes information further. Layer normalization, LN, stabilize training. Cross-attention, decoder, attends to the encoder's output. Output layer generates final text output. Transformer model versus traditional sequence models. Encoder-decoder architecture Processes sequences from left to right, or vice versa. Self-attention mechanism Focuses on relationships between all words in a sequence. Parallelization Faster training 
captures long-range dependencies efficiently. Recurrent neural networks are run-ins. Sequence-based processing, limited by vanishing gradients. Long short-term memory, LSTM. Addresses RNN limitations but still struggles with long-range dependencies. Sequential processing slows down training. Difficulty in capturing long-range dependencies. The process and techniques of training large language models. Large language models, LLMs, are trained through a process known as unsupervised learning. Initially, the model is exposed to vast amounts of text data, which helps it learn patterns, structures, and the relationships between words, sentences, and concepts. During training, the model adjusts its internal parameters by predicting the next word in a sequence, based on the context of the words that came before it. This process, called self-supervised learning, allows the model to improve its understanding of language over time. By repeating this process on a massive scale, LLMs become capable of generating coherent, contextually relevant responses to various inputs. Pre-training, models are trained on massive datasets to predict the next word or token. Fine-tuning, adjusting the model on specific datasets for domain-specific tasks. Reinforcement learning, incorporating human feedback to refine responses, example RLHF. Pre-training involves unsupervised learning on massive datasets to develop an understanding of language patterns. Objectives include Number 1 is Masked Language Modeling, MLM predicting masked words in a sentence, example BERT. Number 2 is Autoregressive Modeling, predicting the next word based on preceding words, example GPT. Fine-tuning adapts pre-trained models to specific tasks or domains using labeled datasets. Techniques include Number 1 is supervised fine-tuning, training on task-specific data. Number 2 is reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF aligning outputs with human preferences and ethical guidelines. This diagram visually represents the training phase of a large language model, LLM. Here's a detailed explanation of each step. 1. Large text dataset Description A large collection of text data, example books, articles, websites, code bases, serves as the foundation for training. Purpose Provides diverse language patterns and contexts for the model to learn. 2. Tokenization and processing Description Converts raw text into smaller units called tokens, words, subwords, or characters. Purpose Tokens are the input that the transformer model can process. Preprocessing may also include removing irrelevant data and handling punctuation. 3. Transformer model Self attention plus feed forward. Description The core architecture of the model uses layers of self attention and feed forward networks. Purpose Self-attention enables the model to focus on important relationships between tokens. Feed-forward layers process and refine the attention output. 4. Forward pass prediction Description The input tokens pass through the model and it predicts the next token or sequence of tokens. Purpose To generate probabilities for the next token based on the learned relationships and patterns in the training data. 5. Compute Loss, Example Cross-Entropy Loss Description The predicted tokens are compared to the actual tokens from the dataset, and the loss, error, is calculated using cross-entropy. Purpose Quantifies how far the model's predictions are from the actual values. 6. Backpropagation, Gradients Description Gradients of the loss function with respect to the model parameters are computed using automatic differentiation. Purpose Identifies how each model parameter should be adjusted to minimize the error. 7. Optimizer Example Adam Description The optimizer Example Adam updates the model's weights using the computed gradients. Purpose Improves the model by minimizing the loss over time. 8. Updated Model Parameters Description 
After optimization, the model's weights are adjusted for improved predictions. Purpose helps the model generalize better over the dataset. 9. Repeat for multiple epochs. Description The process, forward pass, loss computation, backpropagation, optimization, is repeated over multiple passes, epochs, through the dataset. Purpose allows the model to learn progressively and converge to an optimal state. 10. Fully trained LLM. Description After training, the model is ready to be used for inference or fine tuned on specific tasks. Purpose enables applications like text generation, summarization, translation, and more. Detailed explanation of each step. Input text. The user provides input, such as a prompt or question, example write a story about AI. Tokenization. Converts the input text into smaller units called tokens, subwords, words, or characters that the model understands. Trained Transformer LLM The pre-trained or fine-tuned model processes the input tokens using its multiple self-tension and feed-forward layers. The model predicts the probabilities of the next tokens based on learned patterns. Forward Pass Prediction The LLM generates probabilities for the next token or sequence of tokens in response to the input text. Decoding Mechanism Converts token probabilities into an actual sequence of tokens using methods like Greedy decoding selects the most probable token at each step. Beam search considers multiple sequences to find the best one. Sampling randomly selects tokens based on their probabilities, useful for creative tasks. Output tokens The model produces a sequence of tokens representing the response to the input. Detokenization Converts the output tokens back into a human-readable text string. Final output The generated text is presented to the user. Example Input What is the capital of France? Output The capital of France is Paris. Thank you for considering subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate your support and interest in my content. By subscribing, you will be notified whenever I post a new video, and it will also help my channel grow. I am constantly working on creating new and exciting content for my viewers, and your support means the world to me. Subscribing to my channel is completely free and only takes a few seconds. If you have any suggestions or feedback for my channel, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments section. I am always looking for ways to improve and make my content more enjoyable for my subscribers. Thank you again for your support. I hope you enjoy my videos and continue to watch and support my channel. Have a great day.